What in the world is happening on Vashon with real estate? This is pretty nuts. This is really actually pretty nuts. I, I've seen a lot of nuts, but this is nuts. Ready? So first of all, you're at 636 in median value. So that's about 30,000 less than Seattle. Okay, so it's catching up. It's, you know, you, there was a time when it was 10% less. It's not anymore. Um, and I'll tell you, I'll show you why. You know, you can see it had the same sort of pause that King County had, same sort of increase. You're at 7% year over year, solid, healthy increase. And here's why and why it's likely catching up to King County overall. Look at that. So the blue is the demand. The blue is the number of houses sold. The green is the supply. You outstrip supply last January, last month, 8 to 13. So obviously very small numbers, but there were only eight new listings with 13 of them sold, 13 houses sold. So that's an intense amount of demand relative to supply. And it had been that way for December and for November. So it's been really, really, really tight. And if you look at last year, overall, it was really tight. So you didn't have a lot of excess inventory. In 2019, where you saw that little flat part, that little pause, there were one, two, three, five, six, seven months where supply outstripped demand. Last year, it was way closer than that, just barely had a couple of months that outstripped it. And I think if you look at it on this kind of a graph, you can see over the last five years, watch what happens is that the demand completely starts to overshadow supply last year. So is that going to turn around? Well, the only way that could turn around is if a whole bunch of people sell because no one's building on the island. You're not going to ever build enough on the island to compensate for that kind of demand. This is literally just people stop selling. It's never been a case of building enough houses. So if you're going to get back to, you know, what it has been over the last five years, which is a, you know, a buyer's market, a seller's market nonetheless, but not crazy like this, you're going to need more people to start to sell. Is that going to happen this year? If you look at, you know, traditional patterns, let's look at what, you know, you can anticipate over the spring. You know, last spring, it was in the middle of COVID, so you didn't have a lot of activity. This is right where the market shut down. You didn't have a lot of activity, but historically, if you go back two, three years, spring into June, July, you usually have an increase in inventory. Are we going to see that this year? I think we're going to see, I think it's going to get a whole lot better than this. If only because people decide this is the time to cash out and this is the time to get their money out because you can barely think of a time where it'd be tighter than this, an easier time to sell than this. So if you have questions about valuing your house on Vashon, or if you're looking for a place on Vashon, let me know what I can do to help. Give me a call. It's what I do. Aaron Hendon with Christine and Company over at eXp Realty. I appreciate the opportunity to serve. Let me know what I can do. For, oh, like, subscribe, share, do those things. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.